What is battery backup worth to you? In the last video, I went through the economics of batteries versus solar. Batteries do not pay for themselves before the warranty's up. At the moment, they're not an economically rational purchase in Australia. But what if you want the other benefits of batteries? And one of the big benefits is backup. What is that worth to you? Well, everyone's different and you have to put your own price on it. I've got a battery in my house and a few months ago, the street was totally blacked out. I was cycling home and this is what I saw. As you can see, mine was the only house in the street that had its lights on. Life carried on as normal for us for about two or three hours. It was awesome. <laughs> so what's that worth to you? Only you can decide. But if you do decide to buy a battery for the backup, it's really important that you get the right kind of backup. Now, there are four levels of backup. This is terminology that we've invented at SolarQuotes to show you how different the levels of backup are in the batteries on the market in Australia today. Let's start with level zero. Level zero means you don't actually get any backup. If the grid goes down, your battery stops working. There are plenty of batteries available that do that, believe it or not. Avoid those batteries. Then there's level one backup. These batteries, they will back up your home when the grid goes down, but they will reduce their output power when they do that. So you might have a five kilowatt battery. So that is a, a battery that stores energy, but its power rating is five kilowatts. When the grid goes down, it reduces its power to say 1.82 kilowatts. That's not a lot of power for powering your home. So it's a degraded performance when the grid goes down. Avoid those batteries. Then you've got level two backup. This is the grid goes down. Your battery, say it's a battery that can pump out electricity at five kilowatts. It is the same power whether it's in backup mode or it's in grid connected mode. That's what we call level two backup. I think you should avoid those as well. And there's a reason for that. That's because they will not charge your batteries from the solar panels when the grid's down. Why won't they do that? Seems a bit ridiculous, right? Because it takes extra electronics to do that. I'll explain why. Say your solar is generating four kilowatts. Say the grid's not connected. Say your house is using two kilowatts. Say your battery is full. You've got an extra two kilowatts of solar power. It's got nowhere to go because the grid's not connected. That means something's gonna catch fire or go bang, unless you throttle back the solar panels. So you need extra electronics to throttle back the solar panels if you want to charge your batteries from the solar without the grid. And that's what we call level three backup, or I call apocalypse proof backup. Because in theory, if you're careful with your electricity usage, you can go almost indefinitely on battery backup because the batteries will charge up from the solar as soon as the sun comes up. If you haven't got level three backup, once your battery's flat and you're not connected to the grid, you're out of power. There's a number of batteries, let's say, that have level three backup. So if you're going to spend thousands of dollars on a battery, get level three backup. To make sure you've got level three backup, here is what you say to the person selling you the solar. You say these exact words. I want the solar panels to charge my battery when the grid's down. And you get them to write that on the quote. 